so very good morning to all the students of class plus 2c uh, yes beta we are doing chapter should visage hit mommy fine and uh, we have read i guess uh, 70 to 80% part is done only 20% is left that we will be covering up today along with question answers fine so should visage hit mommy firstly uh, yes tell me what is the theme of this chapter anybody can uh, speak raise your hand yes vanshika aap bataiye in this story it addresses important morals moral issues that parents should know about the, about their children what is right for them what is wrong for them because they love their children and uh, sh uh, children should also think about that our parents are saying good for us and they shouldn't uh, need acceptance from anybody else because they should love themselves and do, do the right thing in their life fine you can mute yourself very good fine so basically the theme of this chapter should wizard it mommy wizard is magician actually this wizard and mommy they are the characters of story within the story so in this we have uh, uh, you can say four uh, mainly two characters are there fine jack and his four year old daughter jo and he keeps on narrating the, the creative stories to her on daily basis fine and one day he Uh, was telling the story of Roger Skunk. Now the way he is ending the story, daughter doesn't like. So she wants some different ending. So the main theme of this chapter goes as a, that uh, adult perspective versus imaginary world of the children, creative thinking of the children. Should we allow them to be what they want, or should we preach them? Should we teach them how to think, what to do, etc. Fine. So we have read where the story is going. Now. Uh, Raise your hand, Rana Guruji, if you're there. Wait. This kid turn out to be na that that child <laughs> leaves the meeting and then again enters when I continue teaching. So okay, he's not there. Some students are still joining. See, very late. okay let's continue so we have read so far beta when roger skunk uh, you know gets the smell of the roses fragrance of the roses from the wizard and uh, you know when he comes back home after paying to the wizard and after playing with all the animals in the forest when he comes back and his mommy you know said because this is very interesting roger skunk's mommy Uh, said it's me mommy i smell like roses and she said who made you smell like that and he said the wizard and she said well of all the nerve you come with me and we are going right back to that very awful wizard so you know that actually uh, you know mothers uh, you know they love the children the way they are mothers never you know anybody else in the world can ask you to change yourself that is conditional love you know what is conditional love when we put conditions ki if you look like this or if you do this if you do not do that only then you will be loved but mothers are there they love their children unconditionally without any condition so in the story of roger skunk when roger skunk you know it smells so bad and it goes to wizard to get the good smell and he gets also the smell of roses and after getting it uh you know it wanted to uh, tell everyone that yes now i'm changed and i'm happy and i will be making so many friends and all but everybody was happy but when he comes back home his mother roger skunk's mother does not accept that fragrance why because she never you know mothers never like to distort the basic traits of their children they say that they love their children the way they are and you know god has made every creature different fine a skunk if it is 
having the smell a stinky smell that it is like that only it cannot change if any person is like that god has made you like that fine so mother is actually imbibing the value in the rajas kang that one should accept the way you are we should not distort uh, the god given lineage to us fine we should not make changes into that so this actually jack is trying to imbibe this value in his 4 year old daughter by telling him narrating him story fine so that's why he has taken this example so he wants that smell of uh, fragrance of roses to be changed into again that stinky smell so that's better but that 4 year old daughter jo she is not at all accepting it she is thinking that it should be same that smell of roses should be there skunk should remain with that only fine so mother says you come with me and we are going right back to that very awful wizard why awful wizard because she does not like the changes she made uh, wizard made in his uh, in her son so this paragraph i have highlighted we can uh, like continue from here jo sat up so the moment father is uh, you know uh, taking the story further jo is also reacting in the same way jo sat up and her hands dabbling in the air with genuine fright so she is you know showing that gesture of fright because she is not at all happy with this ending but daddy then he said about the other little animals run away her hands skittered off into the underbrush so that in tiny little girl she is explaining but daddy he said about the other little animals run away from him when he had the smell all right he said but mommy all the other little animals run away and she said i don't care so actually jo is taking the side of roger skunk now okay so jo is taking the side of that child because she wants that that rajas kang should be you know happy in his life because he he should get many friends but father is trying to imbibe that having friends is not important than having your identity the way you are so but she is not able to accept this so she is giving arguments to the father in between he tell that you know in that way so and uh, i don't care mother says you smell the way little skunk should have and i am going to take you right back to that wizard so mother usko samjhati hai skunk ko that skunk smell like that only you should get that smell back i will take you right back to that wizard and she took an umbrella and went back with roger skunk and hit that wizard right over the head so this is the lesson uh, father jack is trying to learn, you can say make jo learn that you know mother will be hitting wizard with umbrella why why mother will be hitting uh, wizard with umbrella so that mother wanted to teach a lesson to that wizard that by changing the smell of uh, her son and by changing that basic features this is a wrong thing one should accept one's qualities or whatever traits are given to him god has given so one should you know that value of acceptance and one should be confident in one's own skin so this is what mother is trying to do here fine so mother is going to hit wizard but now now comes the better title of the story should wizard hit mommy but here what jo wants is jo wants that rather than mother hits the wizard it is wizard who should hit the mommy you know it is the imaginary world of the child this is the way they want you know adult perspective is always something else children they have their own creative imaginary world so this is the conflict of the story that who is going to hit whom clear let's continue no jo said put her hand out to touch his lips so so jo is trying to you know make his dad uh, like uh, shut the mouth of her dad by she is trying to touch his lips yet even in her agitation and did not quite dare to stop the source of truth inspiration came to her so she is so agitated so angry on this ending then the wizard hit her on the head and did not change that little skunk back 
then he changed he has to then what she says she says that wizard hit her on the head on on, on whose head on mother's head roger skunk's mother and did not change that little skunk back so according to the girl it should remain that smell of roses should remain no he said he con and father jack the wizard said okay and roger skunk did not smell of roses anymore he smelled very bad again but the other little amum oh amum john it's daddy's story shall daddy not tell you any more stories so that four year old girl is trying to interfere into the ending she is saying no it is the mother who will hit it is the wizard who will hit the mother or mommy on the head and uh, that smell of roses should retain no father says it is daddy's story joan it's daddy's story shall daddy not tell you stories anymore her broad face looked at him through sifted light astounded she's shocked she's surprised she, this is the not uh, the way she wants the ending her broad face looked at him through sifted light this is what happened then and father is continuing the story the way he wants okay this is the way he wants skunk and his mommy went home and they heard woo woo and it was the choo choo train bringing daddy skunk home from boston you know that this is the uh, you can say basic ending fine they heard that sound and uh, and they had lima bean celery liver okay fine uh it was the choo choo train bringing daddy wait skunk from home boston so you know that the basic story was like after that uh getting that problem solved that roger the character would come back home and wait for father they had their dinner lima bean celery mashed potatoes this is the basic dinner you know the children they eat uh pie oh my for dessert and when roger skunk was in bed mommy skunk came up and hugged him and said he smelled like her little baby skunk again and she loved him very much and that's the end of the story fine so father ended on a moral grounds that you know mothers love their children the way they are they never would like to change them and they will never put any condition before loving their kids you know but even then jo is not at all satisfied but daddy what then did the other little animals run away see so she is worried that what happened to that little roger skunk nobody would play with him because he got so many friends just because of roses smell no because eventually they got used to the way he was and did not mind it at all so father gave a very good lesson to jo that you know eventually people accept you the way you are you can be different from others physically mentally emotionally and people you know they will not accept you for the first time or the second time but eventually they get used to it fine so not at all in that way clear then what's even shiladi in a little while that's a stupid mommy it was not he said with rare emphasis and believed from her expression that she realized he was defending his own mother to her so i told you that jack was actually narrating his own personal experiences in the form of this now i want you to put your big heavy head in the pillow and have a good long nap he adjusted the shade so not uh, now i want you to put your big heavy head in the pillow and have a good long nap he adjusted the shade so not even a crack of day showed and tiptoed to the door in the pretense that she was already asleep but when he turned she was crouching on top of the covers and staring at him so after narrating the story the way he wanted uh, he was going away from the room covering all the you can say cracks from where light could come so that she is asleep and he's pretending that she is asleep but when he turns back to look at the daughter she was not at all asleep because she is not satisfied with the ending of the story get under the covers and fall fast asleep bobby sleep bobby's 2 year old brother of uh, joe 
So he says that your brother is sleeping. You should also sleep. She stood up and bounced gingerly on the springs. Daddy, what? Tomorrow I want you to tell me the story that that wizard took the magic wand and hit that mummy. See, see that girl is not able to sleep. वो कहती ऐसे कैसे हो गया? Wizard helped the Rajas Kang and he gave him so good smell. And you know she is not able to accept that morally sound story. She is wanting. She is wanting that the end should be according to her own will. You know her plump arms chopped forcefully right over the head. Or साथ में कहती कि wizard should hit the mommy and right over the head the way uh, you know the mommy had hit the wizard same way. No, tomorrow you say he hit that mommy. Do it. She kicked her legs up. And sat down on the bed with a great heave and complaint of springs, as she had done hundreds of times. Am I audible to you all? Please tell me because some connectivity problem is there. Connection got lost for a while, and it came back automatically. Okay. So we are going to better end the story. Stay there. so this time she did not laugh she was not at all laughing she was not at all laughing because she was very serious that father should tell the story in which wizard hits mommy but father has narrated the story in which actually mommy has hit well we will see now at least have a rest stay on the bed you are a good girl he closed the door and went downstairs so he anyhow uh, you know he could not convince his daughter that yes it was wizard who got that hit on his head he said okay maybe i will tell you another day so please go to sleep so just for the sake of putting her, her to sleep he said okay then he went downstairs claire had spread the newspapers and opened the paint can and wearing an old shirt of his on top of her maternity smoke was stroking the chair rail with a dipped brush above him footsteps vibrated and he called john shall i come up there and spank you the footsteps hesitated so when he came downstairs to help his uh, wife claire who was expecting the third child and she was working all alone painting the furniture of the house again he heard the footsteps of john coming downstairs and again he ca called her name and you know scolded her and that footsteps went back that was a long story claire said so what does it this dialogue mean according to claire that was a long story it means she had been waiting for her husband because she was expecting and she was working all alone and she was expecting that her husband will also come downstairs and help because husband was stuck with daughter you know putting her to sleep it was difficult task even though he could not fulfill it fine the poor kid he answered and with utter weariness watched his wife labor the woodwork a cage of moldings and rails and baseboards all around them was half old tan and half new ivory and he felt caught in an ugly middle position and though he as well felt his wife's presence in the cage with him he did not want to speak with her work with her touch her anything so this is actually what is this ugly middle position where you know we are split between two responsibilities so one duty was towards his wife who wanted his help at that time one duty was towards his daughter who wanted to she's she's too young to understand anything and he was putting her her to sleep so now he is also tired he could not do anything but he came downstairs just to help his wife and the story ends there Fine. Right? Now, what is the moral issue that the story raises? Let's discuss the question answers now. Gorav, first answer, beta. It is just like beta. Uh, what is the moral that story raises? It is like question answers only. Jaldi se give answers. the ones who will not be answering beta i will mark you absent make sure jaldi se
मैसेज ही है बेटा ये मॉरल इशू और क्या है बताइए वॉट इज द मॉरल इशू दैट स्टोरी रेजेस Who's getting my voice? Yes, Vaibhav. Tell me the answer. Vaibhav, are you there or not? Lakshit, one should accept the way they are. Yes, Lakshit, that is sub theme. Very good. Lakshit has written the answer in the chat box. Rasika has written acceptance. What else? Bas itni si hai baat moral issue. Beta itna lamba lamba chat box me type kar rahi you can speak also. Do not hesitate while unmuting yourself. What is the moral issue the story raises? The story raises the moral issue uh, of, again, but the same thing I've already written on the board that adult perspective versus innocent world of children. So moral issue is that should we imbibe, uh, you know, values among children by telling them the things the way we want to or we should let the child think freely and out of the box, you know, should we accept child's perspective also, or should we teach him adult perspective always? So this is the moral issue. The story is raising here, adult perspective versus innocent world of the children. What is more important? We should retain that innocence and what, what they think is more important, or we should tell them morally correct things always. Right? So this is a, an open-ended question to which we do not have the answer actually. Clear? And the second question, how does Joe want the story to end and why? Jaldi se ye to sab koi pata hoega. How does Joe want the story to end and why? You know, in the story of Jack, here you can make the comparison also. Jack, father of Joe, ends the story in which... Roger Skunk's mother takes an umbrella and hits hard on the head of the wizard. And she scolds the wizard for changing his son's smell from a uh, stinky smell to roses smell. And then wizard again changes the roses smell again to that stinky smell. But Joe does not want the story to be ended like that. Joe wants that it should be the wizard who should hit mommy right on the head, right over the head. Because mommy is doing the wrong thing according to Joe. According to Joe, what is more important that Roger Skunk gets so many good friends. He was happy at the end of the day by changing his smell. So this is what Joe wants at the end of the story. And why? Because this is the way children think. Children want happy ending always. And maybe she was relating herself with that character. Fine. And she wanted that Roger Skunk should have so many good friends. Why does Jack insist that it was the wizard that was hit and not the mother? So Jack ne kyu insist kiya is cheez ko leke? The reason was Jack was insisting on that it was the wizard that was hit and not the mother because he wanted to imbibe some moral values among his the girl, uh, you can say in the girl, in his own daughter that one should accept this is the acceptance beta theme Ab pe aayegi. he wanted to preach the value of acceptance in life that one should accept the way one is and moreover he was actually you know on the behalf of his own mother because it was his personal experience from his childhood memories he extracted the story and he was you know saving his own mother's aside actually so that's why also he wanted this thing there are two things what makes Jack feel caught in an ugly middle position what is ugly middle position Amarpreet are you there jaldi jaldi se beta react kiya karo either type in the chat box or speak 
so as in the more you are growing up more you know less expressive you people are becoming davana you have attended the class but you never participated in this never ever see no response our preet you are marked absent then okay you are wasting the time of uh, the whole class and my time too what is your uh, what makes jack feel caught in an ugly middle position ugly middle position is when he wanted to help his uh, wife claire downstairs when she was painting the furniture all alone and she was uh, expecting the third child and she was in dire need of help at that time but jack was also you know having the duties as a father putting her daughter to putting his daughter to sleep and narrating the story so he was uh, you can say stuck in that situation what should he do what uh, what should uh, whether he should attend his daughter or wife at the same time so what is your stance regarding the two endings to the rogers kong story this is the question which you will answer according to you means aapka kya stance hai isme what stand you would like to take that whether you are on the side of jack father or you are on the side of the daughter jo anybody web on whose side you are aapne type kiya tha pichla question but you can unmute also to speak this is just your view point whether you take the side of the father or the daughter jaldi se see how it times take it takes a lot of time to extract answers from you people and you know you you see class 9th and 10th and plus 1 even they participate whole heartedly they answer and you are not at all unmuting yourself very bad attitude it is very bad no participation last question what why is an adult's perspective on life different from that of a child's obviously adult perspective is always different from the, that of a child adult has a lot of experiences in the lives fine they have seen a lot of good and bad days of life from their experiences they have different perspective but children's world is innocent they have not seen such ugly harsh realities of life they imagine the world to be always good but adults have seen that world is not bed of roses thorns also come along with it but according to children were you know ending should always be good world is always good so that is the difference between the perspective of two things two people okay so bell is gone please revise this chapter read this chapter